how to improve page speed and page load quality on Go High Level websites and funnels. Hey, I'm Alex, and uh, I just started working with Go High Level, which is a really amazing funnel building and marketing agency uh, software platform. Uh, if you're interested in checking it out, I've got a link in the description, which will take you to the uh, homepage and you can read up more about it. Basically, it's an amazing ClickFunnels alternative. Uh, it's also an alternative to a lot of stuff like Calendly and a ton of other software. Basically, if you, you, if, you ha if you have a marketing agency or you have a business online and you use a ton of different software, Go High Level is like putting it all in one place. Um, but it's not perfect, of course, just like anything. And so this is the first uh, website or funnel that I built in Go High Level. And uh, one of the things that I noticed is that when I, if I refresh it, it looks okay. But if I do a hard refresh by putting my cursor in the browser uh, in the uh, browser bar and then pressing enter, then this happens. So that uh, that doesn't look so good, right? And that's actually called cumulative layout shift, and it's uh, a negative tick on Google's core web vitals. So basically, that kind of ruins user experience. So people will be less likely to leave, or people will be more likely to leave your website if this is happening. And you'll also have a harder time ranking on Google because Google considers cumulative layout shift to be a negative thing. So how are we going to fix this? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So what's going on here is go high level um, automatically when you when you add an image to a page on go high level, it uh, it turns on something called lazy loading. And lazy loading is pretty much what it sounds like. It means that rather than load the image as soon as the page loads, it's going to wait until the image is needed and then it's going to load it. But when you have images above the fold, which means the part of the page that you can see when the site first loads, that's the above the fold part, uh, you want those above the fold images to load right away. You don't want them to lazy load. and all of the images that you add to your high level site are going to be um, are going to be lazy loaded by default so you just need to turn that off for those images so i'm going to go back to i've got my builder open here and i'm going to click on this image right here and so if i was at the top i would have to scroll down to the bottom and right here you can see there's the image path and then it says optimize image load so i'm just going to turn that off and then it's telling me that it's it's lazy loading and lazy loading is generally a good thing. It's right, but you don't want to lazy load the images that are above the fold. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to click on this image, turn it off again, okay. Click on this image, turn it off again, okay. And the image on the that's the background of this form is not being lazy loaded because it's uh, being loaded by CSS through the form. It's not being loaded by the page builder. And so the way that the uh, Go High Level page builder works is once I hit save, uh, all the changes I just made are going to go live. So I'll hit save. And I'll go back to my live website and I will do a hard refresh again. All right, so see, that's loading in much better. It's not jumping all over the place. There's no cumulative layout shift. The only thing that's happening, the only way that you even know it's reloading is because the form takes a second to load in, but that's because it's a form. It doesn't really have anything to do with um, it doesn't really have anything to do with the image. It's just that forms take a little bit longer to load and go high level. And but the important thing is that it's not shifting around. Um, it's not creating a cumulative layout shift, and so that's not going to be a negative for user experience, and it's not going to be a negative for Google and search engine rankings. All right, so that is how to improve your page speed slash page load quality in Go High Level. That's how to turn lazy loading off in Go High Level. And uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And if you want to check out Go High Level, I highly recommend it. Just uh, tap my link in the description. Uh, it's an affiliate link. And you can go and uh, sign up for a free trial. All right, take care.